Leo, God bless you. It's my pleasure to read for you, as you know. And as you know, you don't have to have any specific Leo placements for this reading to be for you. And you don't have to be watching at the time that it's being published. If it resonates, then yay! I would say to take what comes in, contemplate, use your discernment, and uh, then move accordingly. If it doesn't, I would invite you to take a step away, then come back at a later time to see if the energies have unfolded for you. Sometimes it's just a matter of waiting for it to make its way more into your physical reality to be able to recognize how the dynamics apply. If you'd like to work more personally with me, you know we do it all on my channel. Boop. And you can look for my Etsy page. The link is somewhere on this page that you're watching. Okay, now let's jump right in. Uh, Leo, I do have to tell you that the minute I started your reading, um, a card flew out. And at the same time, my nose, my sinuses, everything started getting really stuffy. It all happened in one second, actually, <laughs> to be honest. I put the card back in, but I noticed what the card was. It was my medical card. And um, and then, you know, I just shuffled again. Something just flew out here. Here it is. What is this? Reassurance of the golden light. Let's talk about it. All right. So whoever you guys are, it seems like you have gotten a call already. There's something that you've... Uh, I don't want to use the M word because it may make you feel like, oh no, so please, this is a no frantic zone. But it feels like you may have missed a call here somewhere somebody may have asked you to do something uh, if it's in the physical or more of what i'm kind of feeling here you may have received some type of designation from spirit some type of tap on the shoulder oh look at that i went to tap you on the shoulder and i tapped my wrist as if there were a watch and so it kind of gives me this feeling like maybe you've been asked to do something and you kind of missed it. Now, I don't want you to think that, oh, no, I've missed an opportunity, like I'm, I'm a loser, I'm this and that. And all the words that would come after would be really your own programming because spirits like, what? What is this thing, this loser? What is this? You know, <laughs> I don't know. They wouldn't say that, but you get my point. They don't they don't work like that. Come on. They don't work like that. Right. Um, that's your stuff. But that being said, I'm seeing that the reason why you may have missed this thing, whatever it is, whether it's something that was in the energetic or something that manifested for you in the physical, is because you were moving to the tune of something else and you had no idea. Okay? And then you might question, well, how could it be that I was being heralded, notice the word, by two different things? It's almost irrelevant because we just have to go with what called you. Now, why I said um, heralded, because remember the song, Hark the herald angels sing, herald, right? It almost feels like having been called by the angels, right? Um, maybe you are one in disguise, who knows? Maybe you have angelic origins, right? Um, you know what they say, we say it all the time on this channel, be mindful how you treat people. People are out walking around here in human suits and they, they, they are not, they're much higher ranking. And I don't like to really talk about ranking thing. You know me with my Libra and placements where like everybody's equal and everybody is equal because no one is better than another. However, that being said, there are certain functions that, I, I don't know, I'm just saying, we'll just leave it at that. And there are certain roles, let's put it that way, when people come down to the earth and beings come down to the earth from wherever they come from, you know, you might be rubbing elbows with your local plumber who's actually maybe a high-ranking being on the other side and, and you don't know, so be mindful. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's always the ones that are so easy to dismiss, so just watch that, by the way. Now, um... The reason why you're being called, they're saying, is because something is going to be dropped into, God bless, your crown chakra. If it hasn't happened already, you see this guide here. Oh, you know, it is getting a little dark in this room. I, should I? I don't, I don't, is, is the light ready? There it is. Okay. Oh, sort of. Uh, okay. Mm, eh, okay. All right. Whatever. We're going to go with it. But um, it's about to come into your head soon. Oh, look at how these two cards are now lining up. Hold on, I'm a perfectionist. Let me go grab another light. Because what are we doing, right? Quick. Bing. Okay, almost there, almost there. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, so something is about to come in. Let's take a look. Boom, there it is. Ooh, ooh. See, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Ascension, the rainbow bridge. Oh, it just caught here. Not quite yet. So here's my question. It's about to come in, but it hasn't, it, it's stopping a little bit. So let's explore the reason why. Oh, that's easy. There are parts of you that are, are that are afraid. I almost said unafraid, but let's keep it 100. There are parts of you that are afraid to move on. So maybe there's a fear that you're leaving somebody behind. So let's talk about that. Um, you with the conscious mind, you may, it's kind of like with an office, right? Okay, I'm right, let's use this example. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm moving jobs, right? But I don't wanna get a new job. I mean, I do, I love to pay, I this, that, and that. But I, then I'd be leaving behind my work family and this and that. So you see how you can be a little split here? And then on top of that, a lot of us do that too when it's time for promotion. This is a promotion in a sense, if you want to think of it that way. But this is a, this is a spiritual designation where you're raising your level of consciousness. The guides are saying you're not losing anybody. This is the problem. A lot of people hold themselves back because they keep believing myself included keep believing in this thing called separation there is no such thing as separation in in reality and if you need somebody to really help you understand that and i know that like i struggle sometimes to believe it too but if you but i know it to be true if you need it come see me because i literally work with energy it's so much so that the minute i think about someone they're like what's up i'm like huh <laughs> and the non-physical hey what are you doing here i just you know and the person's still alive by the way but their spirit is all over the place there's no such thing as separation okay whether somebody passes away god bless i don't even use that word they transition into what they were actually this is the temporary state this is the temporary state okay and there's no separation there really just is none. And we will struggle to remember that as long as we, you know, our third eye is kind of closed and we're kind of conditioned. But trust me, when you start to get on this journey, you really start to understand like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, I'm on a date. Please, Grandpa, give me some space. We don't know how this night will end, right? So there's a lot, right? So if you, I'm pulling it closer because I'm just seeing your feet some of you guys here we're, we're doing some clearing of the the foot area it's it's sorry there's so many words coming in uh cutting ties cord cutting now i want you to know that any cord that's ever cut you cannot slip up and cut a a, a fate line if that's what you want to think of it because i know some of you are on that red string of fate thing we don't need all that right we can never cut anything of love why because it's not cuttable there's no need to what is the function to cut love it doesn't it's 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 love is the fabric anything the only thing that's being cut and removed because it doesn't belong there is toxicity and i'll tell you what you will be surprised how a relationship that is so toxic and really struggling and you know on the brink of divorce or release or moving from a company or whatever actually grows closer when we do the cord cutting because it is the cords the toxic cords the toxic beliefs the energy that's not being moved the imbalances all sorts of stuff that create the problem does that make sense yeah so um so i see here that to summarize leo you've been being called to move up a notch or two <laughs> yay as i just said that yay i just heard i just heard cha ching so yeah yay you're being called to move up a notch or two i'm hearing move up a brick or two that's for somebody and so if you can allow yourself to align with that and i do see the energies aligning speaking of 18 9 36 9 9 9 right so this is what we're talking about and I want you to know that you are safe to make that, that leap. I'm hearing leaps and bounds. Now I do see, I'm hearing two, getting two things. One is, the second thing was charter plane. 
charter plane so that's gonna be for somebody the first thing that I got is a uh, medical stuff so some look at that look at that <laughs> literally rising up this is to go right here this is where I'm going um, even looks like the same person uh, some of you are needing medical procedures in the non-physical talking about energetic medicine to assist you at this time wow look at that that's beautiful now there we go I was just gonna say look at this look at this because this is my my together card and remember some of you are struggling to have this uh, to, to answer this call to ascend because you are afraid of leaving people behind whether they're ancestors or um, family members in the physical or romantic partners or work or whole lifestyle whatever it is and now that we kind of cut those cords around the feet and reminded you which you already knew that you cannot cut cords of love and actually get taking away these negative toxic energies actually bring you closer to what is in your best interest and a lot of times it, it even brings you closer to the person that you keep trying to hold yourself back for look at what falls out now boom look at this lovely 29 that's 11 that's my connection card this is union card so you see how you're together now whatever it is you're afraid of losing and then look here along the ascension card we have the masculine look what's coming in for you now so and then look Earth healing, 38, 11. Is that me? I don't know, no, I don't know. <laughs> but that's you receiving from your angels. Look right underneath, 11, 11. Okay, don't play, guys. Don't be out here playing. Look what's back here. Spiritual service. This is the spiritual service card. You know, we do spiritual service here. And they're, they're, they're just saying we do spiritual surgery here, which we do, okay, energetic medicine. So for some of you, if you would like to make this uh, journey with us, you know exactly where to find us, right? We always have a hot beverage for ourselves and hope you bring one as well. But seek me out for intuitive counseling. And um, anyway, so yeah. So what I'm seeing here with the power of the masculine of course, everyone's like, ooh, right? Ooh. Well, I don't know if everyone's like that, but somebody. But actually, this could be representing uh, more than just a physical vessel. It could actually be referring to your inner masculine that is trying to come through. As you guys know, we were doing a lot of divine feminine downloads, right? A lot of healing of the feminine within you. A lot of crystalline structuring as well for a lot of people. Not everybody with that, but for a lot of people with that. And also, guess who's ready to blend the masculine? Oh, I need a card right here. I don't know what, but let's do it. Let's do it. Is it the feminine? I don't know what. It doesn't matter. But so we're looking here at alchemical union. We're looking at uh, the alchemization of space is what they're saying. As I looked up, 13 minutes, 31 seconds. What's this? Wow, Merkaba, spiritual protection. Look at this. Now, oh, look at now, yes. This was my crystalline card that I just, um, I just, uh, I actually just recorded literally a few minutes ago before this, the, the cancer reading. And um, I'm going to release the cancer reading first and then this one the next day. So this, this talk of the crystalline structure was kind of big in the Cancerian reading. Trust in the plan, yes. So your Merkaba, now I'm not, yeah, and I'm not being told that a lot of you are going to be having Merkaba, um, yeah, stuff. They're, what they are showing though, they're having me cover this up for right now, and they're showing the union of masculine and feminine within. So we're looking at divine union, or at the very least, alchemization of the self and look how it's starting to spin now right we know the Merkaba right is a combination of the feminine and masculine so we're just gonna cover that up for right now I am getting the word submarine because I do feel that once you start to have this alchemization of space they're saying again for somebody here right very specific um, you're going to do a little bit of a deep dive and then come back up all right you know where to find me God bless